Christ being raised from the dead dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. Today we come to the Holy Mass. We join wherever we are. The Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Arthur Mills, whose anniversary occurs now. There's a commemoration today of Pope St. John I, 6th century Pope and Martyr. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit, the fruit produced by the Paschal observances. O God, who reward faithful souls and who have consecrated this day by the martyrdom of Pope St. John I, graciously hear the prayers of your people and grant that we who venerate his merits may imitate his constancy in the faith. We make these prayers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Sailing from Troas, we made straight a straight run for Samothras, the next day for Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a Roman colony, and the principal city of that particular district of Macedonia. After a few days in this city, we went along the river outside the gates, as it was the Sabbath, and this was a customary place for prayer. We sat down and preached to the women who had come to the meeting. One of these women was called Lydia, a devout woman from the town of Theatira, who was in the purple dye trade. She listened to us, and the Lord opened her heart to accept what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptised, she sent us an invitation. If you really think me a true believer in the Lord, she said, come and stay with us. And she would take no refusal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people, he crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, this honour is for all his faithful. Alleluia, alleluia. It was ordained that the Christ should suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, 
whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who issues from the Father, he will be my witness, and you too will be witnesses because you have been with me from the outset. I have told you all this so that your faith may not be shaken. They will expel you from the synagogues, and indeed the hour is coming when anyone who kills you will think he is doing a holy duty for God. They will do these things because they have never known either the Father or myself. But I have told you all this, so that when the time for it comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and Christ, sisters in Christ, let us pray earnestly now to God that he may hear the prayers and supplications that we make to his beloved Son. Let us pray for all those in authority, especially those in government at this time, that they may continue to lead the people with integrity and with an aim to the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer, especially those who suffer from mental illness, depression and loneliness, especially brought on by these days of quarantine, that they may feel the strength of God's holy people in prayer and the closeness of Christ the Good Shepherd. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all families, especially those who are struggling in these days, that God may give them the grace and the support of the Holy Family of Nazareth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our schools and all who work in them, children, staff, and all those who contribute to the well-being of our education system. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you know our needs in this age. Hear the desires of those who cry to you now and grant us what we ask of you in faith in the risen Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit. Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, 
with Saint Pope John Paul I and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion. I wish, Lord, to receive you now with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you in the spirit and fervour of the saints.
Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join with me if you can at six o'clock this evening for the praying of the Holy Rosary and continue to send any petitions and requests for prayers in the Rosary um, during the day. You can just simply email it to me on the parish website. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry for man as children of thee. To thee do we send up our sighs mourning and weeping in his veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, I might tell show unto us the blessed fruit of thy Lord Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Holy Michael, our angel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. Saint Pope John I, pray for us. Holy Guardian Angels, pray for us.